Happy Friday, everyone, and Happy New Year! Today we're going to show you how to make another classic tiki cocktail that packs a big punch. And just so you don't run dry while you're ringing in the New Year, we're going to show you two different ways on how to make it. This is the rum barrel. The rum barrel is an iconic cocktail in the tiki universe that has been reinvented many times by many restaurants and lounges over the past 80 years. Of these recipes, about four of them get regularly used nowadays. One is the original Don the Beachcomber recipe. One of them is from the Porzo Call in Tucson, Arizona from the 1960s. One is from Stephen Crane's Con Tiki franchise, also from the 1960s. And one is a new twist that was invented by Jeff Beach Bomberry in the 2000s called the Bum Barrel. So today we're just going to focus on those first two recipes, the Don the Beachcomber one and the Porzo Call one. One is a much bigger, more complex recipe. The other one's a little more simple, depending on the size of barrel you want to use. So let's start chronologically and tackle that Don the Beachcomber recipe first. So what's in that big complex drink? It's gonna be one ounce fresh lime juice, one ounce grapefruit juice, one ounce orange juice, one ounce pineapple juice, one ounce honey mix, one ounce light rum, one ounce gold Jamaican rum, two ounces demerara rum, one teaspoon falernum, one teaspoon allspice pimento dram, six drops of Pernod, six drops of grenadine, and one dash of Angostura bitters. Holy cow, that's a big drink. I guess that's why they call it the rum barrel and not the rum glass. Now before we get started, let's talk about what's in that honey mix. It's actually just gonna be equal parts honey, hot water, and then just stir that together until it's well blended. All right, let's get started. One ounce lime juice, one ounce grapefruit juice, one ounce orange juice, one ounce pineapple juice, one ounce honey mix, one ounce light rum, we're using Bacardi in this case, one ounce gold Jamaican rum. In this case, we're using Dr. Bird, an extra funky Jamaican rum. Don't worry guys, only 300 ingredients left to go. Two ounces of Demerara rum. In this case, we're using a very nice 15-year-old El Dorado. One teaspoon Falernum. One teaspoon of allspice or pimento dram. Gonna add six drops of Pernod. That stuff's potent, so make sure you don't put too much in. Six drops of grenadine. And finally, dash of Angostura bitters. There we go. All right, we're gonna add uh, some ice cubes as we shake, just to chill the drink as we shake it. Also just sounds cool. All right, now just grab your favorite rum barrel mug Add some crushed ice. Crushed ice uh, sort of just helps bring out the aroma better. Also, you can sit garnishes on it really well. Oh man, there it is. For garnish, just gonna add some mint on top. I'm slapping the mint like this just to bring out the aroma before we go in. If we smack it, sometimes make some of the leaves fall off, but uh, this is just a personal preference. Now that sits nicely there, add a straw. There it is, the original rum barrel. This is the Don the Beachcomber recipe. It's a beautiful, super complex drink. Very big, be forewarned. A great drink that can take you down on New Year's Eve. Oh, but wait, we're not done yet. There's still one more rum barrel to do. So onto the Porticola version of the rum barrel from the 1960s. And that recipe is gonna be three quarter ounce lime juice, three quarter ounce orange juice, three quarter ounce pineapple juice, three quarter ounce passion fruit juice or puree, three quarter ounce sugar syrup, one ounce dark Jamaican rum, and one ounce 151 overproof rum. So a quick note about the passion fruit juice. You might not always have the juice or puree on hand, but if you happen to have passion fruit syrup, you can just add a little less syrup and add some lemon juice in there to add some acidity to it. And flavor wise, it works out just about the same way. So let's get going. Let's add in that three quarter ounce lime juice, three quarter ounce orange, three quarter ounce pineapple, three quarter ounce passion fruit juice, three quarter ounce of sugar syrup, one ounce dark Jamaican rum. In this case, we're gonna use some Lost Spirits dark Jamaican rum. There she goes. And finally, one ounce of 151 overproof rum. Now, normally I would recommend using Lemon Heart 151. It's really good but I don't have any of that on hand, so I'm gonna use some Gosling's 151 proof, and it is still the holidays, so I hope you'll forgive me. 
Don't worry, when it's that strong, you can barely tell the difference. That's not true. All right, shaking time. One more time, adding some ice. Chill the drink as we shake it. Also sounds cool. That ought to do it. Now, because it's a slightly smaller drink, get a slightly smaller rum barrel. Get your Hawthorne strainer and strain that in. Once again, we're using crushed ice. We can set some garnish right on the top there. And again, we're gonna use some mint. That's the ticket. Stick that on top. Stick your straw in, and there you have it, the other rum barrel. Just one of the many variations of the rum barrel made over the years. Just as interesting, and can definitely act as a great libation when you're ringing in the new year. So thanks for tuning in for these two versions of the rum barrel. Have a happy new year, and cheers. What happens if I do this? Mm. Holy cow, rum barrel. More like rum, I'm gonna be on the floor by the stroke of midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, rum barrel. More like rum, I'm gonna fall over before it's New Year's. Rum barrel, more like rum, I'm gonna get wasted tonight. <laughs>